All right, good morning. Um, property. <clears throat> so property is actually maybe my favorite area of the law, and I'm just going to say that because we don't get to go into it very much, so that makes me a little sad. We used property as uh, explanation earlier in the semester when we talked about the history of the law and the two cows. That's a property question. So property is about possession. Uh, it, possession is the right to physically control an object and title. Title is, the, is ownership of the object. So uh, in some cases, you have both. I have uh, this mug of coffee I'm drinking, and I both own the <coughs> title. Wilson, I have dogs. I both own the title of this mug of coffee and the coffee, and I have the physical right to control it. I can be the sole person drinking the coffee. But uh, my car, if I still owe money on my car, the title is held by the car company, right? Although I have the right of possession. I have the right to drive it and use it. So that's how we think about property. There are two aspects of your right to property. And there's two kinds of property. There are, is real property and there is personal property. Real property is land, your house, um, uh, big structures that you can't move. That's real property. Personal property is everything else. It gets a little more complicated than that, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And then tangible and intangible is just as the definitions imply. A fixture is a personal property, a piece of personal property that has become real property because of something that's happened. So, uh, for example, I'm sitting at my kitchen island. I have one of those islands that you have in kitchens. And it came in as a separate piece of furniture. So that's real property. I can move it. I can take it out. But they have um, attached it to the floor and then my wood flooring comes up and is attached to it. So maybe it's now fixture. So how would I know? How would I know if my island here on the kitchen is real property, a, a fixture, personal property that has become real property, or it's still personal property. So if I sell my house, can I take my island with me is the question. Well, let's think about that. My chair, I'm sitting in a chair at my island. This is personal property. I can move it out of my house if I sell my house. No harm, no foul. Nobody's hurt. I haven't hurt the value of the house. I haven't done permanent damage to my house. If I removed this island though, would it do damage to the hardwood floor? And the hardwood floor is real property. It is a fixed and part of the house. Well, it would in this case. Maybe not in your house or your apartment, but it would here. If I took this island out and moved it to my new home, it would tear through and destroy the wood that's, that's here attached with it. So it has become a fixture. In the classroom, I like to think of those whiteboards. The whiteboards came in as personal property. They came in in these long rolls, like uh, like saran wrap. But they uh, cemented it with this kind of cement glue onto the wall. And if we were to tear that off in a fit of rage one day, it would take off. It would not only remove that whiteboard, but it would remove the, um, the sheetrock underneath. It would actually hurt the room. So it has become a fixture. Unlike the lights in our classroom, which we could just take out and run away with. And so they remain personal property. All right. Here is the test for fixture. This is not the kind of test I like in class. Um, what you have to think about with fixture, if you have one in a case, is first go through this definition and do that in your homework, do that in your brief, do that for yourself. And then this test is just kind of a um, more or less test. So you can answer, it, if three of these questions look like fixture, it's a fixture. 
it's not um, it's not a great test to work with for you all because it's not a kind of a boom 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 it's more of a well let's look at all the factors and decide